Hello YouTube Pipers, Double O Pipe here. I bought a new pipe. It's called a Xenon Straight. I'm not sure what kind of wood that is, but I'm going to fill it up with Carter Hall. If I can get the Carter Hall to come out of the jar. <clears throat> uh, it's been about a week since I've made a video and one of those reasons is in the last video I think it was the last video I made I was smoking my pipe the Sherlock Holmes And because of the P-lip, I burnt the top of my mouth, and it blistered up on me. And those blisters got pretty big in, inside, on the top of my, the roof of my mouth. <laughs> and they popped and sloughed off that skin, and my mouth has been sore until today so I have not smoked pipe all this week and I thought I would try this new pipe with Carter Hall to see how it does That P lip, I will never smoke that again. <clears throat> never again. I love that shape and I love the way it hangs in my mouth. But I didn't even realize that was happening during the time that I was smoking it. Because I had smoked it in the past and never had a problem like that. But this time, like I say, I felt nothing until the next day. And I realized the roof of my mouth was getting lower. And there were blisters forming in there. Not fun at all. So let's see if I can smoke another pipe. Otherwise, I might have to give it up. <laughs> Something didn't right. Well, I had a filter in there, didn't check that. And it was jammed in tight. So maybe now I can get some airflow. Hmm. <laughs> Get some tobacco flow too. Quite a bit of tobacco flow. Maybe I should have cut that filter in half or something. Yes, this was just a little too long, but it came with it, so I figured it. <coughs> I didn't know I'd fill this thing with chewing tobacco. <sighs> well. Like I said, it's been a week since 
I made my last video. <clears throat> and I don't know what to say about the gall, the second gall I did. The winner of the original drawing, I thought he would let me know that he had gotten that certificate since such a big to-do was made about it. Because if he did not get it, then smokingpipes.com said that they would cancel that one and send out a, a new one to him. Still no word from him, and it's been two weeks. So this time I have to take it for granted that he got it. And on the second drawing, when I drew the name of 68 Saw Gunner, I have yet to hear from him to get his address to send him the certificate. I'm not very good with these drawings, <laughs> these galls. I'm not good at it at all. I even sent, well, I didn't send an email because I, I don't really have his email address. But I did on the last video at that particular time that he had made, I left a communication that he had won the second drawing. But I haven't heard from him. So I don't know if he knows that he's won or if he's just not interested. So, where we stand with gall number two, I have not heard from the winner. So there's no way I can send out a second gift certificate if the winner is not going to contact me. The first certificate, I have no clue if he got it or not. I can surmise that yes, he did and just let it go at that, but goodness. I had no idea that a gall would be that much of a problem. But, let's shove that out. I got a box in the mail. Kentucky Highland Piper. Mark sent this to me. And I thought I would wait to open it until I made this. And I didn't know how long it was going to take for my mouth to heal up so I could smoke a pipe again. But here I am. And I'm going to open it up now. I want to thank you, Mark, for sending this to me. don't know what it is and I'm not having much success here with this knife maybe my smaller knife would do there you go well no he's a man after my own heart this is taped up really good and I believe in taping them up really good too okay got bubble wrap I got a small tin of Faulkner's Delight I've not heard of that Looks like I was at 
about to order it upside down. Smells good. There's no sweetness to the smell, but it's a thick aroma. Oh, more bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. And <clears throat> I got some stickers. Tobacco Reviews, TobaccoPipes.com, and Redeemed Estate Pipes. But this is more like a I don't know what you call those things you put on the table to put a drink on, but that looks more like what that is. Cool. Well, let's see what's in this. It's a Peterson box. This guy raps like I do. It's a Peterson, St. Patrick's, May of 2023. That's one of the St. Patrick's. That's cool. I was wanting one of these, but I just didn't buy it. That's nice. I like that. I like these diamond shapes in here. And I like the curve with that diamond shape. Well, the next pipe I smoke is going to be this one. I'll give that a try. I like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I appreciate that. St. Patrick's Day 2023 Rusticated Fishtail. Nice. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Very kind of you. Nice. That's going to be my next, next smoke. I think my pipe just died on me. Yep. Well, this is the last video that I'm gonna mention that gall. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put that in the past and let it go. I tried. I saved this stuff too, because when I send packages, it comes in really handy. And I've been known to send a package or two. If my taste buds are off, because this doesn't taste right. This car hall. I don't know why. <clears throat> like I say, maybe I burn my taste buds off too.
I reckon I'm going to have to smoke this a few times to see whether it's something I really like. I'm not sure if it fits in my hand the way some of the others do. Probably do better too if I had a bit rubber bit on the end here. <clears throat> I don't have a story. I don't know why, I just haven't. Can you say I haven't been in the mood to, to tell one of those stories? Maybe I've just been a little off myself, I don't know. I tried one of those Coca-Colas that comes from Mexico today, and I haven't felt right since drinking that, so. I don't drink colas or fizzy drinks much. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But I haven't felt right since since I drank that. Gave me a headache, too. It's an easy draw, this. I think it was Pallet and Piper that said that the different woods on these would give your tobacco a different taste. So maybe that's why. Maybe that's why this Carter Hall doesn't taste right. Not sure. Okay, folks. I don't really have much to say. I just was excited about opening that. And I wanted to open it in front of the glass here. And I thank you again, Mark. I appreciate that. That's a pretty little bite. And I think it's going to be a decent smoker. At least it looks like it. Once I get one of those bits on the end, and I'll crank this up and take it for a taste drive next time I smoke a pipe. Thanks again for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. I hope you have a good weekend coming up. We've had some pretty days here, and I'm thankful for them. So I'll say God bless till the next time. Bye-bye.